Welcome, I'm Mike Fatasik, and in today's video, I'm gonna cover the last W of the HWW formula. Now, if you've seen the previous videos in this series, you know that the HWW formula is designed to simplify your approach to achieving a lean and healthy body. It's also designed with the idea that you want to improve your eating habits if you wanna achieve a healthy weight. So, what does the last W stand for? It stands for when you eat. We want to develop the habit of only eating during certain times of the day and then other times of the day we want to give the body a break from being fed to allow it to rest and rejuvenate. The reason this is important is because the latest research shows that weight gain is more than a problem of just calories in and calories out. It's kind of an outdated model. Uh, now the science says that hormones have a big role to play and insulin is one of the key players. Anytime we eat food our body responds to that by producing insulin. And insulin's main job is to deliver nutrients to the cells and to send some of those nutrients to fat cells for storage and later use. This is, a, this is actually a very complicated and ingenious system that the body used to ensure that all the cells have access to nutrients every single second of the day. The problem occurs when you're continuously eating throughout the day. You're having meals and snacks or doing late night eating. This artificially keeps insulin levels high, so it never has a chance to return back to normal levels. Well, as we just discussed, one of the jobs of insulin is to send nutrients to the fat cells to be stored. Think of it this way, you know, insulin acts as a messenger and it instructs fat cells to do a certain job. So when insulin levels are high, it instructs fat cells to store calories so that we have access to calories and energy at times when we're not eating. And then when insulin levels go back to normal, it instructs fat cells to release those calories back into the bloodstream so that the body can burn them for energy. Well, there's two things that you can practice to make sure that you're working with this biology instead of against it. The first one is to just say no to snacks. I want you to commit to, depending on what your hunger level is, eating two to three main meals a day and not having any snacks in between. So let's say you wanna have three meals a day, you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you just don't eat anything in, in between. And if you have well-balanced meals made from nutrient whole foods, then you really shouldn't get hungry in between these meals. But by not eating anything in between the meals, it allows insulin levels to return back to normal so that you can access those calories in the fat cells. The second thing that you wanna practice is eating during a feeding window and then following that with a fasting window. So just to give you an example, a uh, feeding window, you want to be somewhere between eight and 12 hours, and then you wanna follow that with a fasting window somewhere between 12 and 16 hours. Um, and let's say that you're doing the 12 hour feeding window. So it'd be a 12 hour feeding window followed by a 12 hour fast. Well, let's say you have breakfast at 8 a.m you're doing the 12 hour feeding window, that means you should be done eating your dinner by 8 p.m. And then your fasting window will start at 8 p.m. and then go to 8 a.m. the next morning. This is one of the best dietary tools or interventions that I know of that helps lower insulin back to normal levels so that you can gain more access to those calories that are stored in the fat cells. Well, I hope that that helps you a lot and helps you understand how the fat cells work and how important it is to develop these habits of when you eat. If you like the video, be sure to give it a like, share it with friends and family, and until next time, be healthy, be happy, be extraordinary.